Life on the road is often perceived as a holiday. And yet when you're full time and you're traveling, working and living full time in your van, then actually it really isn't a holiday. It's very beautiful and very privileged and we love our lifestyle. Although sometimes we need a holiday. So how do you prepare for a holiday when you're living full time in your motorhome? Here in this video, we're going to show you our top tips as we prepare for a holiday of a lifetime, a holiday we've not had for over eight years. And uh, we're going to show you how we've prepared for it. We haven't experienced this for a very long time. You know, when the holiday's here, when you put your little luggage tags on, oh, it's very exciting. We're quite lucky we've got a storage unit. So we have some suitcases stored there, which we managed to pick up. If you don't have any suitcases, and after all that garage can't take very much more in it, can it? Uh, go to a charity shop and pick up a couple of suitcases from there. It's these fantastic packing cubes. My goodness, they're absolutely amazing. I use as many of these as I can for packing. And in fact, our clothes permanently live in them in the motorhome as well. So I've got quite a few packing bags in there, packing cubes. So everything's looking reasonably neat. Use one of your packing cubes to pack up all of your cables your plugs, your T7 storage units and anything else, any other little gadgets that you think you're going to need for videoing, for charging up your devices. Perfect. We've packed for about two weeks worth, would you believe it, for a four week holiday and we're going to wash when we get there. So I'm always making sure I've got these little fellas. These are colour catchers easily picked up from supermarkets. Bung one of those in your wash with coloreds and whites all together and you never get any staining. These water bottles. We're going to a country where the water uh, may be a bit hit and miss. Uh, we're going to Indonesia. So I've bought these at the recommendation of um, uh, our nurse who gave us our jabs. Life straw. They're really fabulous take out all the impurities of water that you'll be drinking whilst you're away. They're one litre, we've got two of them, so that means that we can pack those both up in our rucksacks if we're going out walking and stay hydrated. There's always got to be a couple of new outfits, girls, hasn't there? Come on! Not often you're going away on holiday. So if you can, buy material like this. These new outfits that I've treated myself to are like, um, what's that material? Like a crinoline, which means that you can scrunch it up and it doesn't need ironing and you can just simply take out, shake and wear. Absolutely ideal for holidays and of course for washing when you're full-timing in a motorhome. We always want to take shoes with us and they can be really bulky and sometimes a bit grubby. So actually, I've got a two-in-one tip here. The first part of the tip is squash them up, any shoe you have, with a bit of tape. Really gives you extra bit of space. And because maybe the bottoms are a little bit grubby, just grab a food bag. And place them inside so that now they're not going to get any of our clothes dirty. Simple and effective. We're rocking and rolling. Think about taking just a rucksack. Handbags are great although not really practical when traveling and I have to say from a personal point of view I don't do handbags anymore. I do do rucksacks. So this little fella's coming with me. It gives two opportunities. One is obviously it's a great carry-on bag. I've got space in there for anything we need on the plane and also front pouch for easy access to get the passports and also then we can go walking with it and uh, doubles up perfectly. Take a little carry-on bag. This is hand luggage and we have a stopover so this 
has got everything that we'll need for our two nights in a hotel before we get to our next destination. Then you need to find yourself some really good quality storage that fits in with your insurer's requirements. And then of course there's the inside stuff that needs to be dealt with if you're living full time in your motorhome. Keep all your cupboards open for good ventilation, including your wardrobes because they have ventilation at the bottom. And just keep your windows open slightly just on that first ratchet there, just to keep a little bit of air moving through. And in the main habitation area, make sure you've got all your cupboards open. Just keep that fresh air moving around nicely. It's always a good opportunity to give the fridge a good old clean out. And we just put little sponges and a little bit of tape so that there's lots of circulation going through there and no mould on our return. Also given the grey waste tank a little bit of a clean as well. And that fluid that, uh, that we've put in will stay there for the course of our holiday and it'll just stop the smells coming through. This is the product that we've bought. Managed to get that on uh, Amazon. Other products, of course, are available. What are you doing? There's a little switch here. It's the frost switch, so if the van gets below three degrees, it flicks so that the fresh water tank doesn't freeze up. Okay. So I've just turned it on now to purge the water from the tank so there'll be no water in the tank. Great. And then we'll put fresh when we get back. Yeah with a bit of puree clean just in case there's any mildew or anything in there. Yeah, yeah perfect. Great. Just a few outside jobs to do. Mr Davis, like turn the gas off and make sure all the cupboards are uh, locked on the outside. And then that's it. Holly Bob's here we come. So that's us. Packed. Ready. And ready to go. Everything is all winterized, albeit summer, <laughs> and we are packed outside with our suitcases. And this is the Motoromas full timing it, life on the road, going on the Arnie Bobs, going on as Hollandaise. Uh, yay! Come <laughs> on, I'm excited now. Come on, we are good to go. Hope you've enjoyed this little video and found it useful. If you too are full timers looking to have a holiday. Top tips from the motor owners. Signing out for now. Barley next, come on.